So, hello everybody. Welcome, Adam, to the live YouTube English lesson or live English YouTube lesson. <laughs> hello, guys. Uh, I'm delighted to be here with you. I hope yeah, I'll... you are doing all right. Yeah, if you're yeah. asking me, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know about the viewers. We do have some viewers already watching this live. So, everybody, welcome. This is um, Zdenek and Adam. It's a live English lesson. I'm, I'm the teacher. Adam is the student uh, who is, by the way, at a super high level. I can't even... It, this camera doesn't give me enough space to show where what his level is. I'm <laughs> blushing somewhere, again. <laughs> somewhere above, above the reach of the camera there. So. <laughs> mm, thank you very, uh, very much for a nice introduction, but... <laughs> well, it's nice of you to say that, Zdenek. <laughs> well, it is true, so I wouldn't say it if it weren't true, Adam. Um, just to quickly explain what this is. So this is, um, like I said, it's a live English YouTube lesson, but I don't know, perhaps you have never come across uh, anything like that before. But the way I do it is that I basically have a conversation with my student. It's all done impromptu in an improvised manner. It's we don't really know what we are going to end up talking about, which could be, uh, on the one hand, um, exciting. It's like, yeah, cool. We don't know, yeah? It's like, it's the, it's full of adrenaline. <laughs> but on the other hand, yeah, it, could be, it, is. it could be stressful <laughs> because a teach, an English teacher with a lesson plan, knowing exactly what to, what to do in the lesson, which stages to follow, it can sometimes make you feel more confident. You know, it can reassure you. Uh, because if, if you forget, forget what you, you wanted to talk about, if you forget what you wanted to teach, you can always look in your lesson plan. But it's not happening here. <laughs> Are you okay with this, Adam? Yeah, but, uh, well, to be honest, my emotions are running high, in a way. <laughs> yeah. What do you uh, mean? Hello, Julie. Mean? Hello, Julie. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm just joking, but probably uh, I might be a little bit stressed out right now, but, uh, well, uh, I, 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 I see you, you're doing anything in your power to make me feel <laughs> comfortable. So thank you very much for that. You're yeah. going to be fine. First of all, first of all, this is not your first time, yeah. So the first time is always the worst. We could think about our first times in a lot of different departments, and I don't know about you, but mine, <laughs> like, it was my the best. last. Okay. My last, my first time was a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> What are you talking about? About the first YouTube live? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. You're I, reading my I, mind. Yeah. I, I thought for a second you, you thought something else. Okay, then. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I know what you are talking about. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but I think um, it was my first yep. time here. It was, it was in May or July, maybe, or June. Really? I'm not that sure. long ago. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right. Well, welcome back. It's good to have you back. And um, my pleasure. Let, let's see what we can do here. So the way it's going to work, we're just going to have a conversation about anything, really. <laughs> even even our viewers <laughs> watching this live could actually influence the 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 way the lesson is taught. You might say something interesting. You yeah. ask us an interesting question, and then we might. Just end up talking about it in the, during the entire yeah. lesson. Oh, we'll see. I we'll see. may set off a heated debate in the chat. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Uh, hello, Irena. Hello, Irena. Hi. I didn't hear the last sentence, Adam. Could you repeat? Uh, it well, I uh, we might set off a heated debate in the chat. <laughs> uh, it's one of your idioms, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, Adam is known for throwing in a lot of idioms, some of which I may not even be familiar with. And you might be saying, oh, well, how is that even possible? You are a teacher. You should know it all. 
No, that's not how it works, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely don't know it all, okay? But it's my job to make notes about Adam's English, whether it's good English or I don't want to say bad English, but incorrect English because I'm also here to, to do some corrections. I haven't noticed anything yet because we're still doing the introduction. But hopefully there will be something in my Google document, which I'm working on right now. So whenever it doesn't look like I'm looking straight into the camera, that might be because I am um, typing something and <laughs> looking at my Google document. Okay. All right? So um, you, you must be good at multitasking. Must be good at multitasking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, what you, that's what you say, but in yeah. reality... I, I doubt it. <laughs> How about you, Adam? When it comes to multitasking, <laughs> I, I, can you, can you uh, do more things at the same time? I can scratch my head at the same time. <laughs> now okay. that we are talking. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's not that challenging, uh, actually. I don't know if we yeah, get that out, Adam, <laughs> but good one. Yeah, but but... But the truth is, it's not. It's not that easy. Um, probably to some people are good at it. Do you mean it's not? No, that easy to I mean multitasking. Ah, okay. multi multitasking in general. I was just joking. Yeah, but uh, well, it uh, may turn out to be useful in real life sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but probably I am not good at it. Uh, probably I need to focus on one thing. Completely, yeah, uh, yeah, but it might depend. <sighs> yeah, but yeah, but, but I think it's good to be a good multitasker. Yeah, there's a phrase, uh, one thing at a time. That's a good one, right? One, one thing, thing at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But definitely, Stanek, you shouldn't be jack of all trades. <laughs> Why not? Isn't isn't? Haven't you watched the Meg the MacGyver? The, the TV show. Oh, where you, yeah, you it was long sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I am not, but you know, I am not sure if it had anything to do with a normal life. It was just a TV series. Yeah. So, so why, why, why do you, you think know, I shouldn't be a jack of all not really... trades? Adam, why shouldn't I be a jack of all trades? Which means, uh, so why shouldn't I know? I sh why why shouldn't I know how to do a lot of things? Why shouldn't I be skillful in more things? Uh, you know, uh, maybe maybe it is better to focus on just one thing and to be very good at it uh, than to do, than to do many other things. Mm -hmm. uh, but well, people people are different. Everyone is different. Yeah. And, so what could be the uh, well, what could be the advantage of um, being a jack of all trades, in your opinion, and what could be a disadvantage? Let's let's think about this. So, if you are a jack of all but, trades, yeah, but Zdenek, I think it is a, it has negative connotation. It's not a positive meaning because jack, meaning jack of all trades means that you're you're doing many many things, but the results are rather poor. So it that, it's probably it's not. It's not a good it, thing to be a it, be a jack of all jack of all trades. Yeah, it could have a negative connotation for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. to be honest, like I'm I'm looking it up in a dictionary, and you are right. This is one of the suggested meanings. But also, there are meanings that don't really add this shade of the meaning. So they just say it's just someone who is good at a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but. I, I, I am trying not to use this expression because, well, I don't want to sound negative, but but, but probably it ha it also has a positive meaning. Who knows? I, I didn't I, know that. It might. I, Hello, I, I guess it depends on how you say it, in what context you use it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but but I, I, I would use uh, another interesting idiom uh, on, to have everything to have everything down to a fine art, meaning to do your, your, your job very good, quickly, uh, skillfully. Uh, you're an expert in it. Uh, so you're doing yep. something to a fine art. It is done to a fine art. Mm -hmm. For example, the chef has his job 
uh, has everything to define art. Uh, everything down to his, a fine his, art. Yeah. Down to a fine art, yeah. Mm -hmm. It means yeah, to so, be able so, to so do I, something quickly. Yeah. Also, it's about efficiency as well. Efficiently, about... skillfully. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's an inter that's an interesting idiom for sure. I'm I'm writing it all down for us because we might want to go through this later on. Okay, then. So let's think about this. So you, even our viewers who are watching us live could help us with this. What could be the advantage of being a jack of all trades or uh, just being able to do more things? Uh, well, I, I on one thing it, it's good to be good, uh, good at doing many things. Uh, to have many professions, many, one or two or three, not more, because <laughs> I don't think it's possible to have three or more or five or six professions. Uh, mm. Life is too short for that. But uh, well, it's definitely, it's, it's a positive thing to, to, to be good at this, at that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, uh, good, uh, good idea, good, uh, um, good thing so in life. In practical terms. Yeah, for example, so you are a teacher. Yeah. Uh, you you could be, for example, you. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm just wondering, like, how 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 we can take advantage of that in practical terms. So, um, when it just gives you more flexibility, you know, if you, for example, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, but but uh, you may not have enough time for that, uh, especially if you uh, if you're working long hours. Mm -hmm. uh, it may not be easy. <laughs> no. Yeah, but I... but but overall, we should we should uh, develop in life. We should go on in life. We should progress in life. Yeah, it's definitely uh, overall it's it's positive to to have. Um, one or two or three professions, mm -hmm. not more, not more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't necessarily mean professions because when you say a profession, it comes down to, uh, I guess you have some qualifications as well, but it could be just about the ability to do more things at the same time. You know, to have the capacity, mm -hmm. I don't know. For example, like you capacity, say that yeah. there is a stereotype that women are good at this yeah, because they have to uh, look after the baby, cook. That's a, I know it's a terrible stereotype, but that's like, I guess that's when women learn that skill, right? Um, but mm -hmm. men are said not said to be bad at this. I don't know where the truth lies. But I can imagine that in some ways this can be beneficial because you can save time, save money. Yeah, if we... I think we are we are uh, comparing apples and oranges because I confuse the two things. But in, we are Zdenek, Zdenek, in my opinion, it's changing. What? Social functions are changing uh, in, in, in social in this day and age. Yeah. Um, often, uh, very often, women are working. Yeah, yeah. Whilst yeah. fathers are taking care of uh, the babies, so so it's changing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We have got probably um, social roles have changed a lot. Maternity uh, leave and all that. Comparing yeah. to the 50s, 60s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I confused two things. By the way, I we spoke about being a jack of all trades, which means you can do different things, and then also being able to multitask, which is not exactly the same thing, right? Being able to multitask mm -hmm. means you can yeah, do exactly. at the same time, whereas being jack of yeah. all trades, it's more like... Uh, uh, it's more general term. Yeah, I'm not also thinking about it in terms of uh, one of them is vertical. This one is kind of a vertical. This one is horizontal, but it doesn't make any sense. Don't mind me, everyone. By the way, it's good to have so many people watching. <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. Uh, Hello, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, uh, wrong yeah. comment. Here we go. And did I forget about someone? Probably. Oh, Helen, did I put he put Helen's comment up yet? Probably not. <laughs> hello, hello, Helen. <laughs> okay, well, we know each other here, kind of. Because, Unfortunately, um... I can't see. 
as then I, I cannot see how many people are on the chat, but but it's okay, no problem. Yeah, that's yeah, quite a few, quite a few. It's better than last mm -hmm. time. Okay. <laughs> um, okay then. So, um, uh, what do you want to talk about, Adam? Is there anything specific you would like to talk about today, or? Um, What's that? Okay, well, we can talk about, about anything that you, you want. That is, sorry, there is a bit of a delay. Uh, what? Tell oh me about yeah, the flag yeah. You. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah, as 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 you guys can see, this flag is quite large, and this is yeah. uh, I got it from some American uh, guy. Uh, he's a YouTuber, and uh, he lives in my city, in the city of Lublin. And uh, he gave me that, that flag some time ago with dedication that it's for me. And uh, this uh, flag is half Polish, half American. And uh, I, unfortunately, I haven't had time to hang it up on my wall. Uh, yeah, but, but I, I just wanted to show you hmm. this. So it's quite large. It's, uh, yeah, probably I, I am going to hang it up on my wall. Here or there, I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice gift, and uh, it, it made me, made me happy, made me smile. So, made your yeah. day. Yeah. Well, I think it the advantage of, of these two specific flags of the American and Polish flag uh, is that um, they have similar colors or the same colors, so it's easy yeah. to do. So, so it's easy to even come up with that kind of design. Yeah, exactly. Um, to be honest, I have never seen that flag before, combination of Polish and American one, but yeah, it looks quite quite nice. And, uh, well, I'm going to uh, take a picture and uh, show that guy how it looks. And uh, But to be honest, I, I, I was planning to meet him in person in Lublin. Okay, but, you've uh, never actually met him. He's a YouTuber, he's a... Yeah, but then can you imagine he has decided to leave America and uh, made his home in Lublin. And mm. uh, he, uh, on the net, he met his uh, girlfriend and he decided to make his home in, in, in Poland. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's very happy to be here and uh, he enjoy being here very much and uh, yeah. It's probably uh, he came to Poland for good, uh, probably um, a month ago or two yeah. months ago. I'm not sure. And um, he's been very busy lately. And maybe this is the reason why he hasn't uh, met up with me so far. But yeah. but uh, yeah, he's a nice guy and he's a, he's a YouTube channel like you. Uh, oh. And uh, he talks about America, Poland, uh, living in mm -hmm. Poland, and I don't know problems, difficulties, or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's quite he's a quite nice guy, and I, I I'd like to meet him in person, to shake hands with him and uh, pat him on the back. Thank you very much for your for the flag. Many thanks, thanks a million, thanks a bunch. <laughs> You've made my day, and all that, all that, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but cool. never, I know, it, it was a nice gesture of him. It was a mm -hmm. nice gesture of him to give me that flag. So, so um, would you mind um, telling us the name of the channel? But we can even post it as a comment here so that anyone yeah, who's sure. interested uh, in subscribing could check it out. Yeah, he, yeah sure, Zdenek. His, his name is Trevor, but uh, the name of his channel is Trev in Poland. Um, He's a young, I think he's 24 years old and uh, he has black hair, but you can easily find him uh, and uh, just Google. Is and, this correct? Uh, Trev in Poland. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Trev in Poland. And uh, the, yeah, he, uh, he's had his channel for, for quite a while. And um, yeah, you can just watch his, his, his videos. Yeah. He seems to be very reasonable uh, and uh, open-minded, tolerant, and uh, he's really happy to be here in Poland. And uh, mm -hmm. 
by a strange by a strange twist twist of fate he he lives in Lublin so it's just 30 mm. kilometers away from me and uh, yeah this is why I, I I wanted to to meet him in person to walk around the city to have a beer in a pub and to talk to him for 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 an hour or two <laughs> and yeah just to meet him in person uh, yeah yeah well that is that is really cool uh, da -da -da. There's a question from Hard Earned Skills. It's Irena, everyone. Her name is Irena. Uh, I know her. Irena, no, 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 Irena. It's not the same. Love my Poland. Uh, he's an American guy from Texas. Uh, his name is. Uh... Oh, he, what was his name? I forgot. Uh, but uh, this is a, a, a different channel. Uh, that guy lives in uh, in in Częstochowa, not far away from the Czech border. By the way, in the Silesia region. Uh, yeah, I also can recommend this channel to you, Zdenek. Uh, you can you okay. can Google it and you can find. And uh, yeah, Oops. that guy has lived in America, in Poland. Sorry, in Poland for twenty years. He speaks Polish very well as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's also very happy to, to live in Poland. He has a family. He's married with the children. And um, yeah, so uh, I think he has happy life here in Poland. And uh, yeah, he seems to be very happy to be here. OK. Well, you're glad to hear that, of yeah. course. <laughs> All right. So what have you been up to these days, Adam? Yeah. Well, we, we haven't spoken to you since um, you said it yourself, since May or something like that. So um, what have you been up to? Uh, I am still looking for a regular job. Um, okay. I haven't found yet. Uh, I'm doing odd jobs. Uh, I, I was doing some money working, uh, helping uh, someone in the, in the farm. And okay. uh, I'm working around the house. And um, yeah, but but uh, it's my my top priority to find a job. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking about going to, to the Netherlands, uh, but uh, you've already been there before. I have some issues with my yeah, of course. But uh, you know, I probably I speak English, uh, so I'd like to make good use of my English in 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 Holland. <laughs> so. So it would be nice to, to go back to Holland and uh, make some money and to uh, go here and there to visit, I don't know, uh, Utrecht. I, I love U Utrecht. Uh, this is a very beautiful city in Holland. And uh, uh, I was there together with my brother four years ago. Okay. And we are under a huge impression of, of, of the old town. And uh, uh, yeah, it would be nice to go back to Utrecht, to uh, Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. I, I, so I love Rotterdam very much. It's super modern. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I would like to see Delft. Uh, Antwerp is a beautiful city. I can I can recommend Adverb to all of you. Uh, it's full of uh, interesting places, a beautiful old town. Old town. Uh, wait, wait yeah. hang on, hang yeah, on, but, Adam. But, that's in Belgium, isn't it? Antwerp, isn't that in Belgium? Uh, Antwerp, yeah, it's Belgium, yeah. but uh, it would, but it was not far away from the place where I was staying, so okay. it. Uh, it it takes about two hours to get there, so it, yeah, it's, it's very, very close. Um, yes, it's Belgium, exactly. Uh, but uh, yeah, we are we're very, very happy to be there. Mm. And uh, you know, I'm, you know, Zdenek, I am still interested in, you know, in in many things, and I would love to see many places, at least in Europe. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Holland is an interesting country. It's but, interesting uh, you keep saying, Adam, I'm sorry to interrupt you. It's interesting you keep saying Holland, but it's it's interesting because whenever yeah. I speak to the Dutch, they always tell me it's not actually correct. Because it's yeah, really I know. I know what you are talking about. Yeah, I should say, I should have said the Netherlands. 
But, but everybody well, anyway, says some, it. Some people say, yeah, yeah, I, know, yeah. Right? I don't know how to yeah. explain it. I don't know why. I why. Uh, I don't know why. To be honest, I, I, I cannot find an explanation. I, I've heard. I've heard that uh, Holland is one of the provinces, so it shouldn't be. You shouldn't use it to refer to the whole country, Maybe, but a lot yeah. of people do it anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like mm -hmm. a, you know, it's like a habit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But but but, anyways, you, you you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is a small country in the west of the of Europe. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, a place you've been to already, and now you want to go back there. Um, so, so I, I, have you decided yet, or is it more like you are kind of considering it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm considering it, but uh, I would like to make it happen. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, but no, we'll what? see. We don't know what future it holds. But I would also like to go go back to to England. Uh, I was in England in 2007. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it would be nice to see London. To see. Hang on. Well, when you say you would like to go to... back, do you actually mean just to visit or to live there and work there again? Like when you're talking mm, about uh, probably, I would like to visit visit to for I don't know a week or two or something like that because, yeah. um, as far as I know, many Polish people are going back to Poland. Um, especially after Brexit, so it probably it's not the best place for 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 a pole to work. Uh -huh. um, uh, if, if maybe if I want to be a lorry driver to deliver petrol, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you're I'm talking referring. about. I do, yeah. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, there is a shortage. I'm alluding to something. Yeah, There's I'm alluding to something. Of... There's a shortage of drivers, and as a result of that, there are massive queues uh, at the petrol stations in the UK currently. I don't know if it's got any better, but certainly a few days ago, this was uh, this was breaking news, and mm -hmm. everybody is yeah. asking, like, but why? Like, I... why? Why is this happening? And it could be yeah, Brexit. exactly. But yeah. Like, I, I, you know, I don't want to be, you know, spiteful and. And to brute, but I Don't think it serves them right. <laughs> Don't it serves be. them oh, right. No, they shouldn't. They it. shouldn't. They shouldn't have done what they did. The, you know, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to say something, Adam. Now, but actually, it's not fair because it was half of the country. When you say they. I don't think it's fair to. I've got so many, like almost all my English friends, all my, all my, all my I should say British, by the way, almost all my British friends say British. this was a nonsense and they voted to stay. Yeah. So I don't know where these mm -hmm. people come from, who they are, but um, it was 50 50, Adam. It was very close. So if you say it serves yeah, them right, it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not really fair on those people who are not. Who 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 really didn't want this, you know? So it's better. To yeah, I'm horrible. I know. Yeah. No, yeah. it's fine. It's you. But you, you have every right to say what you want, mate. <laughs> but then, uh, in the morning, I was watching a video, uh, yeah. and uh, one of the English British fishermen was talking about uh, the the current situation, and most of them voted out yeah, but he said oh you know we are going to regret it we, we need you yeah. the EU. you know the, the problem he was is that very he... sad yeah the he pulled a long that... face yeah well the problem is that they use yeah. exactly this in the campaign you know they uh, they they mm -hmm. they would say things like we want our british fish and um oh it's not it does it didn't work out the way they wanted it you know it didn't so. work out yeah yeah and, and, and so, unfortunately they may yeah mm -hmm. unfortunately the covid pandemic made it even worse i think it multiplied the problems yeah and also made things gave, worse it made things worse but it also gave them some kind of an 
uh, excuse, you know, like some people might be now, it's really difficult for people who believed in something and they voted for it. It's really difficult to convince them that they made a mistake or it's difficult for them to admit that they have made a mistake, right? So perhaps some of them will now yeah. use um, pand the pandemic as an excuse why things are yeah. going awry, why things are going pear-shaped because the every everywhere in the world things are not great right now yeah the economic situation yeah. they, the 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 um, uh, totally. there is a lot of deficit you know like every government has a lot of every country has got a high, very high deficit you know like um low like a debt the state debt is going up you know almost in every country because of uh, what has been happening you know covid wise covid wise so but I'm pretty sure it's yeah, but Zdenek, but Zdenek, uh, as far as I know, they blamed Polish people for you know a bad situation yeah, not in just economy, people, and no. they the foreigners, maybe it's Europeans, foreigners, yeah. yeah but, but Polish uh, people were a big target for sure because obviously the re the main reason is because no there are about so it. many Polish people mm -hmm. in London. Mm -hmm. That was the main reason. Absolutely. Yeah. But you're right. You're right. Yeah. Polish people were often um, at the receiving end of the abuse and and they were used um, in the campaign for for the they were used um, exactly it, as the reason why they the, the the uk should leave it's it's a complicated subject i followed it really closely definitely it's, it's absolutely very complex yeah. very complex and and uh, uh, well yeah but yeah, yeah. It's, it's democracy they 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 had the right to do that so yeah uh, they blame the immigrants. Yeah, Irena, yeah, exactly. That's that's right, yeah. yeah. No, I think I, uh, I who are working that, uh, very actually. hard. Who are working very that, hard. Uh, sorry? Uh, the, the, they blamed migrants who are working very hard. So it was Well, they, they, used, they, they used to say things like, they are taking our jobs. So some things, but the problem is... You were taking the jobs that they didn't want to do. <sighs> That's the problem, you know. So they don't want to do these jobs anyway. They don't want they 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 want better jobs, you know. So <laughs> these jobs, the, 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 the lower lower paid jobs, right? Yeah. It's only about uh, 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 cleaners, uh, lorry drivers. Uh, we're talking about <laughs> yeah. um, key workers in healthcare, which now needs. Um, a lot of people, you know, the 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 uh, what's it called in in the UK, NHS, right? NHS. They need yeah. a lot of people, like the the nurses and and care workers. Nurses, yeah. They don't have. They now don't oh, have enough. Yeah. Caretakers you know, look after their people now. Exactly. Yeah, they don't want yeah. to do it because it's low pay. It's 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 a low pay, right? So. It, it's just, it was totally, just, uh, yeah. don't get me started on this. But Zdanek, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Zdanek, don't you have an impression that they are lazy in, my, in many cases? I think they are Adam, completely Adam. spoiled by wealth. And, oh, uh, Adam, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, mate, but I'm, I'm really, I, I say mate, you're my student, but you're also my mate. I, I'm always <laughs> very careful when, whenever you say they, I'm so, it's like... <laughs> I'm scared. Oh. I'm scared. I, it's it's, it's some not fair, of Adam. them. When you say they, yeah. Like, sorry, sorry. Who are I even am, they? Yeah, Adam? Okay. Like, I don't think this is true. Okay. I met so many British people who were not lazy. So I don't. I don't feel like. I don't feel this is fair to just say they are lazy. You know? It's like. The, uh, never mind. It's just my okay, opinion. Okay, sorry. Like, I careful. shouldn't have generalized. I don't shouldn't label. have generalized. Don't label, okay. Yeah. Don't You're label right. Adam. Yeah, just it's dangerous because, you know, <laughs> maybe that's your experience. Yeah, then you can say, uh, in my experience, I have that experience. <laughs> I don't want to preach. I don't want to preach here. <sighs> anything, it, this, it is always scares me. Huh? We have had discussions like this before. Yeah, it, <laughs> it may be my experience. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. is fair. Like you can have. Yeah, such, but such but you know, but but from the from the bottom of my heart, I, I don't mean to you know generalize. I don't mean to you know. Uh, for uh, less than anybody's value, you know, you know what I mean. So, yeah, uh, 
Uh, but, but, no. but, but that's the thing. Like, even yeah, that man. rhetoric is dangerous, in my opinion. Yeah, because I've spoken about this many times. I'm a non-native English teacher, and what really aches me, what really uh, ails me, is when people keep saying you should speak English like a native or you should sound like a native. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. th this just creates a stereotype that people like me are less of a value. Yeah, and that's why, like, it's it's dangerous mm -hmm. to say they. Yes, there are some non-native speakers with bad English. There are some non-natives who are bad teachers. But certainly, it's not fair to say they are, are worse than natives. And this is the problem. Like, when you say English people are or British people are lazy, it just creates a problem. I don't think this, this, is, this is helpful in any way. But sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to preach or anything. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just um, saying, like, yeah, I would be careful. Yeah, you, yeah you're right. Yeah, it's uh, just... I shouldn't have generalized like that, yeah, because people are different. Some, some are lazy, some are lazy, some are very hardworking. You're right, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm just looking at some comments we have here. Uh, da, da, da. When you experience, when you experience bad consequences, you tend to rationalize things. What do you mean by that? Tend to realize, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that, Iren? I'm not sure I understand. Do you mean general? Like you tend to, you t you try to understand it in your own brain, like to rationalize it, yeah, to 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 um, <laughs> to name it basically, to label it, to 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 understand it. Why why is this happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just I I understand. Like I understand this is this is a natural thing to happen to to all of us. We all do it, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably. pretty sure everyone has mm -hmm, at yeah. some point ju yeah. been judgmental and generalized. I'm just saying that it's it's a bit of a trap, you know. It's um, it can turn against you basically, yeah, because it's 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 better to stay open-minded, in my opinion. But you know, anyway. Um, yeah, I try to be. Way to be open-minded. Yeah. So, I know. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. why, I shouldn't that's why I'm happy that. to have you here. I yeah. All right. <laughs> we, we might have a look at yeah. some language now, Adam, but there's not much today, to be honest, because I was already focused on what we were saying. So I'm going to share my screen now. Uh, give me one second. Here we go. It's actually called lesson Live Lesson 16. It's not 14. Here we go. Okay, so let's go through some language. So first of all, I really like this word you used, Adam. Yeah, I'm delighted to be here. So delighted, a very nice adjective. Uh, could you tell us what it means? <laughs> uh, I am very happy, satisfied. I'm happy to be here. It's good to exactly. be here with you. And it exactly. makes me happy, gives me pleasure. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's also a strong adjective. So you could say, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. I think yeah. it is a strong I'm adjective. I'm thoroughly delighted, <laughs> I could say. I'm thoroughly okay. delighted. Okay, then. I haven't heard that one, but uh, as, as long as I'm thoroughly delighted. Would you say that? I'm not sure. I can't confirm that one. Uh, gonna... Yeah. Uh, thoroughly means completely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm. Ju so I'm just wondering, good. like, if it's used. That's all, because I have never. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly delighted. I have never really heard anybody say that, but it's possible that you could say that. Oh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like yeah, really. Sure it's possible. Maybe it's not. It's not used very often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like really. Yeah. Uh, I'm really de delighted to be here. Okay, one thing at a time. This is another interesting phrase. Like if you want, if you don't, if you don't want to overwhelm yourself, like there are too many things you have to do, um, mm -hmm. then the solution to that problem is to just take things one thing at a time. Mm. Yeah, but take it one exactly. one thing at a time. Once, do you also say one step at a time? I can't remember, Adam. Do you one thing at uh, a time? One step. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's it's yeah, one step at a time. Yeah, it's 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 such just like that, that way. I'm just checking yeah, just to be sure. One step at a time. Yeah, yeah, it it exists as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, you shouldn't be a jack of mm -hmm. all trades. So we're looking at this phrase, uh, phrase a jack of all trades. So um, 
a jack of all trades. If you, if I'm just, I don't know. Can you guys see my Google? Can everybody see the Google document I'm using, by the way? Yeah. So a jack of all trades yeah, is someone yeah, can, who can, can do many different. Sorry, Adam. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's okay. A, I can, I can see a it jack, clearly. Okay. A jack of all trades is a person, by the way, there are hyphens. And notice how we use it with all these hyphens. Yeah. A jack of all trades. It's a really mm -hmm. weird word. Yeah. And it means it's someone who can do many different jobs. Yeah. Um, it's true. Like if you look in, in Google Dictionary, in, sorry, what am I saying? In the Cambridge Dictionary, then um, it just says someone who can do many different jobs. Adam also suggested that this could have a negative connotation, which I agree with because when I was checking this in other dictionaries, it, they did say it there. So Adam is also right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then this is your idiom. Um, I didn't know this one. To have something down to a fine art. And the, so it means to be able to do something very well or quickly, often because you have done it so many times. Yeah. When did you? I heard it from the you... horse's mouth, Zdenek. I mean, Bob the Canadian. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Is Bob the Canadian a horse? Uh, no, definitely he is a humor, but uh, I. I uh, have watched his video and uh, he was talking just about this idiom. I'm just wondering why you use that phrase from the. I'm just wondering why you use that phrase from the horse's mouth. But anyway, um, um, I like this word overall. Yeah. So. Yeah, me too. Overall, we should develop in different ways, I think you said, in different ways. So I wonder. How, what does it actually mean? Or how would you use this word? Why did you go for this particular word? Overall, we should overall, develop in different ways. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall means uh, in general, yeah. uh, all in all, mm -hmm. generally speaking. Um, yes, something like that. Okay, or on balance, or basically you are looking at different arguments and then, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then it's it's like some kind of a taking conclusion. all into account, taking everything into yeah. account exactly, exactly. Into okay, consideration. Uh, Take account of yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam, how do you pronounce this word? Uh, Zanik, to be honest, it's too small, and I cannot see. I cannot <laughs> see okay. it. Uh, you should have said. You should have said it. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Is it better? Develop. Develop. I think, yeah. yeah okay. So, okay. so where's the stress? Where, where's the stress, Adam? Develop. Where you, where, okay, so actually uh, the, stress, the stress should be here. The stress should be on the second de syllable. Develop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so develop. it's not... No, it develop. should be develop, actually, Adam, yeah? So the develop. stress is... Okay. The mm -hmm. I need to make it smaller because I've got some tools here. Mm -hmm. I, need to, mm -hmm. I want to underline the stress syllable, yeah? So develop... To develop, yeah. So not develop. develop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the stress mm -hmm. is on the second syllable, and this first syllable is pronounced d. Yeah. Develop. Okay. Develop. 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 So try to try to pronounce this. Development. So try to pronounce this. this uh, try to pronounce this sentence for me again, Adam. This sentence starting starting with overall. I can see it. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Because you are you are you on your phone or something? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I that's am. why, yeah. That's uh, why I'm sorry. Overall, we should develop in different ways. Develop that sounds perfect. In different that, ways. Sounds, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Nice one. Um okay, I've noticed this with other Polish learners actually, because you're not mm -hmm. you're not the only student I teach from Poland and I notice sometimes there is a problem um, between two sounds E I know there is a different symbol for that but I just don't have it here right now so uh, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to use this yeah E and E 
short and long e. I, I noticed there is a bit of an issue, and I, I don't know why. Um, do you have these two sounds in Polish, e and e? Uh, I think we have e. e. Long, long e. e and e and e. Do you do you have both long and short e? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. It's the e, e. We have e, just e. Just one. So you just have uh, one sound. I think we should ask Irena. Irena, <laughs> what is your take on it? I I would show sure. you a teacher in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, we can come back to it when we see Irina's comment. But how would you pronounce this sentence, Adam? How, how should it be pronounced correctly? He lives in my city. Good. So there is a... Here, we, do we have the short E or the, the long E? Uh, I think it's short. It is short. Lives. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the following sentence, how should this word be pronounced? He decided to leave America. To leave America, that's it. Mm -hmm. By the leave. way, here we could we mm -hmm. could do a link. We could make a link here. Leave America. Leave mm -hmm. America. Leave okay. like leave America. America. Leave America. Leave America. V America. <laughs> leave America. So the the mm -hmm. link is yeah. There's yeah. a v. Exactly. There is a v sound. Leave a America. Sound and the following word the following word starts with a vowel sound the schwa sound which is not st stressed it's schwa sound is never stressed yeah. leave america mm -hmm. very good um yeah this was a slip i know you know this i, I just wrote it down because i couldn't find any errors so <laughs> it was, this was just a slip uh, what's what's wrong with this let's just can you see uh, it? He enjoys being here very much. He enjoys. You know enjoys. it. I know. I know you know it. It's, it was just a slip. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's this? This is not wrong. I. You know what <laughs> happens to me. You know, Adam. What happens to me sometimes? Because this is this is, the, the multitasking yeah. issue. It's the multitasking issue again. Yeah? So I'm doing a YouTube live. I have people watching this. I have a student. I've, I'm teaching a student. I'm also making notes about your language. And what happens is that sometimes I write the correct language. <laughs> Do you know it's what I mean? like No biggie. No biggie. So, so I think this this this, <laughs> this this this. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, I'm just explaining why this seem, why this is red. He has been very busy lately. This is not wrong, you know. There was probably a mistake, but I just wrote the correct thing. So I'm just gonna delete it. <laughs> this is the <laughs> classical usage of present perfect. <laughs> one of the. Yeah. Uh, uh, How about this one of, of present perfect? Uh, he's a quite nice he's guy. He's a quite nice guy. Uh, he's a quite well. Nice I don't know. Guy. He's a quite nice. He's a quite, he's a quite nice quite, guy. He's a quite nice guy. I think you would. Sh shouldn't you say he's quite a nice guy? He's quite, quite a yeah. It's like saying he's really a nice guy, right? He's really a nice guy. He's quite a nice guy, because this one mm -hmm. is an adverb. Quite a nice guy. Okay, this is a he's small. Quite, small. He's a quite nice Sweet. guy. He's a quite nice guy. I'm thinking like I don't. This doesn't sound right to me. He's quite a nice guy. I would say, yeah. What if what Why if the word okay. was quiet? Mm -hmm. By the way, what if this was quiet? Would it be all right if this word was quiet instead? Uh, quiet, a nice guy. <laughs> quiet. It, I am not quiet. Be, <laughs> I know, but but would it be correct if you said he's quiet, nice guy? He's a quiet, nice guy. Would it then be correct? Uh, is a quite quiet. Uh, if, if, imagine this word was quiet. quiet in... mm -hmm. uh, quiet. It could be uh, correct. He's a quiet, quiet, a nice guy. Mm. Uh, both quiet and nice. So, in my opinion, the, the word the word nice <laughs> should should should. In my opinion, the word nice should precede the word 
quiet, yeah? Because um, in English, there is a rule for the order of adjectives, and you should put the opinion adjectives at the beginning always. So when we, uh, nice is an opinion. Quiet is quite an opinion. Well, it's more like an attribute, right? So I would go for he's a nice, quiet guy. I think that would sound better. Adam, how do you pronounce mm -hmm. this word? Yeah, he's a this? nice, quiet guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's correct. How do you pronounce that word there, the, the, the adjective? Adam, can you see it? Zanuck, I, I, I can't hear you. Is it better now? Uh, Is, can you hear yeah, me now? Yeah, I think so. Now, I hope it's it's better now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how would you pronounce this Could word, you Adam? Repeat your question. How would you pronounce this adjective? Can you see it? Hello, Zanuck. Hello. Yeah, I think I think there's some kind uh, of a which word? Right? Sorry, I I I I cannot see. Here. I don't yeah, want to say it. I think so. Can you see it? I'll put it up as a comment as Open -minded. well. Open-minded. You mean open? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Open-minded. Open-minded. So open-minded. Yeah. Op he's open-minded. So actually, the stress is on the sec. This is a compound adjective, and the stress usually, yeah. usually. Uh, when you have compound words, the stress is on the first element, except there are a few exceptions. And one of them is when you have uh, an adjective ending it with ed like that, like left-footed, open-minded, mm -hmm. right-handed, mm -hmm. you know, narrow-minded. So the word minded has carries mm -hmm. more stress yeah. than, the, than the previous word. So, yeah, open-minded. Okay, open how about this Open-minded. Open minded. Reasonable. 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 It's a quite difficult word. It is. It say. is. So just try yeah. if, if it's difficult, just, just try to sort of mm -hmm. divide Ingle. it into two parts. Ingle. Yeah. So this word yeah. is not hard, yeah. So how do you pronounce this first word? Reason. Just reason, reason right? There's nothing reason. difficult about reason. that one. Now, yeah. this word on its own would be pronounced able, yeah, but but if it's, it's a suffix, able. Able. exactly, able. So if it's yeah. a suffix, reasonable, reasonable. Able. So actually, able. Able. actually, these two words have a schwa sound. Sorry, these two letters are pronounced with a schwa sound, yeah? So reasonable, n, uh, you know, there's a uh sound, schwa, and at the end as well, reasonable. Reasonable, reasonable. Mm -hmm. Reasonable. Reasonable. Where is the yeah. stress? Where is the, where is the word stress? Which syllable is stressed? Uh, reason, Able, reasonable, reasonable, uh, reasonable. Four syllables. Which one is stressed? Reasonable. Four? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the first one, so it's a re, yeah, re. Mm -hmm, okay. Reasonable, yeah. If it was the last one, it would be something like reasonable, reasonable, but not, no, it's reasonable. Okay, by a strange twist of fate, I really like this idiom or this expression, so that's why I wrote it down. Could you tell us what it means? <laughs> yeah. Could you tell us what it means, Adam? Uh, well, something happens in a strange, unexpected way that you don't expect. Uh, for example, you, by a strange th twist of fate, you end up in England again. You as an English yeah. teacher... Exactly. Yeah, by a strange bit of fate, uh, snow is falling down here and now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by a strange twist of fate, you win a million dollars or something oh, like that. That's yeah. not gonna happen. It's it's like, almost like 
by coincidence yeah it's like yeah by chance like by chance it's like it's it's it wasn't really something expected yeah. it just came came out of the blue as well in a way yeah, yeah. you did not make a mistake in this what's happening here? yeah you did not make a mistake in this, Adam. I just wrote it down because I thought it would be a good idea to clarify it since you are uh, from Poland. These two words, uh, a lot of people yeah. think that these two, a lot of people think and believe that these two words are pronounced in the same way. You are not one of them, but I, uh, I think it's, it's a good well, idea. Polish to... as a nationality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first one is. Uh, Polish, Polish, uh, yeah. Polish means to polish your shoes or a surface or something like that. Exactly. To make it tidy Smooth. and neat, exactly. shiny yeah. or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. 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 So, in the first case, Polish in, and Polish. When Polish we are talking about the nationality Polish. and the language, Adam is Polish. Yeah. It's O, O sound. So it's the same sound that you have in the words yeah, like exactly. go, phone, home, Polish, yeah? The same sound. Whereas the second word is no. a verb when you <laughs> polish something, yeah? you polish, yeah. polish your shoes. And it's O, O sound, like God or uh, hot, O, yeah? But then you can polish, polish your English. As well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for Polish suggesting that. I'm, I'm aware, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Absol absolutely. Whereas you cannot Polish your English. <laughs> okay, then. And also, there's an, another good phrase coming from you, Adam um, to work around the house. Yeah. So that if you say you work around the house, Adam, does it mean literally? Does it literally mean that you are sort of around? You are sort of I don't know, going in circles around your house and doing things. So what does it uh, actually? Mean? Well, no. I I mean I I am working, doing some duties. Um, right. Meaning. I'm uh, growing my vegetables or other plants. Uh, I don't know. I am trimming my trees, um, yeah. mowing the lawn, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, lawn. By the way, lawn, lawn. Uh, not lawn. Yeah, lawn. Mow the lawn. Is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be careful. Lawn. lawn. Yeah, the grass. Grass is lawn, like o, oh, long o. Oh. Lawn is when you buy, lawn, uh, lawn. when you borrow money. When you borrow money, yeah, exactly. Uh, but going back <laughs> yeah. to this phrase, I the reason I like I wanted to write it down is because you can think about this to work around a place like uh, literally, but here I believe it's used more mm -hmm. idiomatically as a phrase, meaning as you said, Adam, like doing some chores and repairing things and sort of you know like doing some D DIY here and there. Yeah. Okay, well, totally. um, I'm not running around the house, literally. Yeah, <laughs> well, you, could, you could as well. You could as well. You could as well. Yeah. Um, no. Okay, so, um, yeah, okay. Irena is telling us about the, she's, she's an English teacher from Poland. So she's telling us what it, um, yeah. Uh, about um, this 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 sound e in Polish. It's usually, I, I, I is usually about. short. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. That's why that's why it might be a bit harder for Polish people to to make the difference, to make the distinction. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much to everybody yeah. watching us. To um, uh, Adam, thank you very much for being uh, the student today uh, for attending the class. <laughs> It's been a pleasure to be here. <laughs> been a really interesting chat yeah, with you as you always. Much, Danek. Thank you, thank you, all of you for being here. Yeah, and it's always. Oh, thank it's you always, much. I always Indeed, it's something. been a pleasure to be here. It's been Adam. I always. Chat. I just wanted to say that I always learn something from you as oh, well. Like, like it's it's just impossible to know all these idioms. So 
yeah, I always learn some stuff from you too. So today, the the thing <laughs> I learned from you is that idiom. Like I already forgot what it was, but to have something done. It's, like, it's a pleasure art. to be here in your group, in your Discord group. It's it. It's... Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Just if anybody doesn't know what we are talking about, because we are actually now on YouTube. Um, we have a Discord group. Discord. Are you guys familiar with Discord? It's a it's a platform where you can have different servers, different groups. And our server is called Learn English Online. And it's dedicated to learning English. We've got English teachers. This is the English place learners. especially for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> We've got English teachers, English learners, and we are kind of working together to build a community and share share different uh, posts and 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 we host events different events there as well uh, as in discussions and games and stuff like that so if uh, if you want you can check it out and you might really like it um, okay Adam thanks very much for for coming on tonight and uh, take care man <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here, Zanek. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.